We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. We respect all those who came before us. And we study their history so that we may not fall victim to the same thing that they fell victim to. This is why in 2022, you accomplished nothing. In 2021, you accomplish nothing. You get a pass 2020 because of the COVID pandemic. You accomplish nothing in 2019, 2018. Some sucker talking about I hope for a better 2023 than last year. You didn't do nothing in 2022. What the hell are you talking about? You didn't do nothing in 2022. We have not progressed and done nothing since the end of the civil rights era over 50 years ago. It's embarrassing because you plagiarize and you want to copy people their strategies and their mindset that did not work for them. If you're in the boxing ring and you see your right hook is not taking care of business, then you know you need to go to the left hook or do something else. But we're so stupid because I, I love my right hand. I love my right hand. Your right hand is not winning, sir. You're losing. But we have the mindset, sooner or later, it's going to... You can't win that way. We play basketball. We, we play baseball, soccer. We play all these games. And you ain't learned nothing. Because this struggle is, is the same. You have to play... This is like a sport. War is like a sport. It's all about strategy. The civil rights era, they didn't know what the hell they was doing. They never fought the government before. What caused them to rise? What caused them to rise? They got tired of being picked on and bullied. Like me. I was picked on and bullied. But I didn't know how to fight. So what happened? In the civil rights movement, you heard a lot of hollering and screaming. A lot of slogans. By any means necessary. Black power family. That's what you heard. You remember. <laughs> you remember. Uh, I, I believe it was the. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And. Uh, Ashley was having a problem. With the bully. And Will was trying to give her lessons how to deal with the bully. And uh, he was telling her, you know, you got to walk up to the bully and, you know, you got to pretend to be bad. All right, everybody, mind your business. Mind your business. Get back. You ain't going to do nothing. Everybody, mind your business. Mind your business. What, what? He said, put up. He said, put that click in you. What, what? What you going to do? You got to pretend, make them think that you're crazy. What, what? What you, what, what you say? What you, what you gonna do? That's
that's what they did in the civil rights movement. You know how girls fight? A lot of girls, they just swing, hoping to hit something. Well, some men do that too. They don't know how to box. They don't know how to you just swing, hoping you hit something. That's what I answer. That's what Dr. King, Malcolm X, Noah Jolly, that's what they done. They didn't know how, they don't know who they was facing. They don't know how to fight. What, what battle did they get their experience? What battle? They never fought nobody before. They never fought the government. They ain't don't know nothing about fighting. And so you raise up and you talk like you bad. The white man is the devil. <laughs> you know, just talk stuff. Talk like you bad. I ain't never heard a black man talk like that, talk like that before. The white man is the devil. And then they give you this feel good stuff. The black man is God. And you are the original man, the Asiatic black man. And the earth belong to you to give you all this stuff. Who did they fight? Sister Ann, who did they fight? Our ancestors in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, whatever. Don't have no battle experience. So they just out here throwing their hands, throwing their fists, hollering and screaming, hoping they hit something. And this is what they still, this is the same strategy that they use today. Just flailing. I'm going to get that white man. We gonna get them. Black power, same stuff. Pan African, black power. <laughs> Pan African, Marcus Garvey. The red, black, and green. Red, black, and green has no country, sir. There is no country that recognizes the red, black, and green. And you're not competent enough. You're not strong enough to develop a nation so that flag can fly strong. You have no idea, no concept. All that you can do is talk. So what are you going to do for 2023? More talking. More. That's what you're going to do. And you know how it is when you're fighting a bully. And if you do hit the bully, <laughs> and then you finally hit the bully, you get more scary, like, oh, hell. Because <laughs> you really, you really don't want to piss the bully off. These people don't really want to piss off America. They talk a lot of stuff. They don't want to mess with America like that. They're not ready for the, for the Green Berets. They're not, they're not even ready for the Los Angeles Police Department. It's not even going to get that high. The Los Angeles Police Department, St. Louis Police Department, Philadelphia Police, they can handle the little stuff that y'all going to do. Matter of fact, you're not going to do nothing because every time you see on TV, when they get stopped, they, they throw down their weapons immediately. There's no gunfight, and they go to jail. <laughs> Umar Johnson, no fight, he will go to jail. The police went to Tariq Nasheed's house. And he jumped on the He swam it all My black people It's all about the unity It's nothing they can do with us So ain't nobody moving